In Tanzania, around 800,000 women of childbearing age are living with HIV. Although the country has achieved a 69% reduction in new HIV infections among children since 2009, more than 91,000 children aged 0 to 14 years old are HIV positive, putting Tanzania as the fifth highest number of HIV positive children in sub-Saharan Africa. In 2015, there were about 6,500 new HIV infections among children in Tanzania. This represents the third largest number in sub-Saharan Africa, after Mozambique and Kenya. One of the challenges faced is paediatric diagnosis. Indeed, only 42% of infants receive early infant diagnosis of HIV. Bea is among the region which has a high HIV prevalence in Tanzania and uh, has a specifically high prevalence in pregnant women. HIV early infant diagnosis is usually done from the, the blood, dried blood spot, which should be collected at the four to six weeks from babies after birth. These samples are then transferred, are then sent for HIV DNA PCR at Zambia Zono Referred Hospital which is a specialized laboratory which can perform this test. They receive a lot of samples and uh, that's why they have high workload. In this study, we placed the gene expert system at the obstetric case facilities and uh, we trained the nurses and the midwife on how to perform the test. We then investigated the performance of expert HIV inquiry to diagnose infant neonatal HIV infection from birth until week six. A prospective cohort study was conducted in Mbeya to investigate the performance of the Cepheid Gene Expert System that can be used at the point of care using the expert HIV-1 qualassay for early infant HIV diagnosis. Within the study, the accuracy of viral load monitoring in HIV-infected mothers at delivery was also investigated using expert HIV-1 viral load. Our experience with the Gene Expert at the point of care has been very good. Nazis were quite familiar and uh, confident on how to do the test. The, the main challenge were related to power cut, which required a system which provides sufficient backup power. The expert HIV-1 qualitative test is very easy to use and it didn't require a lot of training. The greatest benefit we get from the gene expert is that we get the answer in 90 minutes before the mother and baby get back to home. I would like the system to continue because it helps our mother, because the mother gets the answer the same day they deliver their baby. The babies get the benefit because if the baby is positive and we detect the early soon after delivery. And it helps us to, to, to refer them to the local CTCs for more treatment. They get care. During the study, we identified the baby early. The sample processing turn around the time has decreased since we started to use gene expert because the sample collection and the sample processing take less than two hours. We don't have to wait the batch test from central laboratory. Uh, it is benefit because we are able to ensure that the baby who are positive are identified at the birth and they give impossible care before discharge to home. They are very happy, especially being able to do the test, which, because it, it used to be done in the lab, but now they do it themselves. So even for them, they feel like they contribute much to the patient care. The treatment of HIV-infected babies is provided by the care and treatment center in Bayer, Tanzania. And it's important to treat babies early because it has a high impact on morbidity. Having the ability to diagnose and uh, initiate treatment early, soon after birth, reduce the number of HIV-infected babies who are lost for long. The gene expert point of care test is feasible to be used in a public health setting and has the potential to improve the HIV early infant diagnosis cascade. This will allow for high uptake of HIV early infant diagnosis testing, specifically the potential to initiate early life-saving antiretroviral therapy in children. Being able 
to do point of care viral testing to the mothers will help us to assess the risk of mother share transmission. Will help us also for immediate decision to initiate enhanced prophylaxis to the neonates. This is important because it will, it will allow us to identify women who should receive enhanced antiretroviral therapy considering to the neonates, but also it will help us to decide when to switch to the second line regimen. Additionally, this will reduce the risk of mother child transmission during breastfeeding. I wanted to be available, especially in the remote areas where we have a lot of challenge getting these samples. I feel good because I have identified them earlier. And I hope we can continue to provide these services to our women. If this will be rolled out countrywide, then I think it will, be, it will help a lot.